Good afternoon and welcome to another Unity 3D tutorial. Today we are going to be apologizing for the lack of videos that I'm posting out. I'm trying to make one a week at least. So today is this week's at least one because I have got a full-time job now and I'm kind of being distracted. But it doesn't matter because today we're going to learn about something very fun which is going to be um, like abilities. But mainly the GUI of ability. We're not going to create the ability itself because um, that will take a bit longer um, but what I really want to do is get the GUI done because the GUI is very easy and so basically what I've done is I've created the script which I call ability one right and I've created this game object called GUI manager which is basically going to hold ability one so if we just drag and drop that in right now then that's sus right and so if we go to ability one and we open it up in our editing program of choice I choose mono develop we are going to need two functions right we're going to need an on GUI function um, but we're also going to need our own little function that we can make by typing void and we'll just call it ability one for now, right? Okay, so basically on the, um, we're going to need a few variables that we're going to chuck in. The first thing is first, I want for my ability to instantiate a cube, right? It's going to be very basic, but it's going to give us the visual that we need because we need that visual cue to know what's happening. Are we act actually activating an ability? So our ability for today is going to be something so stupid, which is spawn cube in scene, okay? Now for Unity, that's a very stupid thing because it's it's not an ability in the slightest but it's a very good for visual cues and i think it's important to know how to do this rather than how to implement it into your game because your game is your game and you're going to add your own taste to it of course right um and so you don't want to copy something like league uh, straight out you just want to know what elements are in um dota for example and Oh, what do I need to make my own game like Dota? So I'm going to try and teach you that stuff. So right now I'm going to teach you abilities. And abilities are very cool in it because what they basically do is they like to chuck um, uh, a texture in that holds the information for the player to know. So what you want to do is actually, I'll just keep writing. Oh, no, because we don't want cube map. We want game object and then we want cube. Okay, so like that. So we'll just create that. And sorry, I'll try and talk whilst doing this, but I can't really talk without speaking what I'm typing. Uh, it's weird. Um, so basically, we just need that. Now we need a few other things. We need a texture, right? And so we want to go public and we want to go texture 2D. Make sure we, oh, texture 2D. And we'll make sure that it's texture 2D because we are actually working in a 2D world um, for on GUI, right? But that's all good. We'll just call it ability one, so AB1, and we'll go, we'll just leave it like that actually, right? And then we'll make another public texture. Um, and basically the reason why we got these two is this is now AB1 cooldown, capital C, capital D for um, the way I like to do it. And so we want to add a float, not a flout, a float, um, and we're going to call it timer. Oh, sorry, 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 no, no, no. AB1 timer, right? And then we'll close that off. Actually, we'll set it to zero to start off with. Why not? And then we're going to want one more um, thing, which is public, going to be public. And we basically want the cooldown. So we've got AB1 cooldown time, right? Just, oh, I should just tuck in time. All right, and we'll leave that as nothing for, oh, it needs to be a float. Sorry, not a float, a float. We Okay, so we need to, um, basically have these four variables uh, the importance behind this entire thing right so let's create our ability first basically we just want to instantiate um, I mean it's not something that you need to know for this because you, your abilities of course will do something completely different but um, if you do need to know we'll just instantiate one in the very center of our universe uh, vector 3.0 which is 000, zero, zero um, for our position and then we want quaternion dot identity and so basically that's all we need for that right and we also kind of want to set the ability one time actually i'll do that now so we got ab1 timer right oh shit um sorry language it equals ab1 cd right time cd time right so basically we're going to set our timer to our countdown time right um, when this ability is activated. And how are we going to activate the ability? Well, we want to go avoid on GUI and we want to choose our key of choice. So I'm going to make this the Q ability. So we're going to say pop your Q or whatever, um, or we can make it alt. Well, I, I don't really care. So we go Boolean and then we'll type in like, I'll call it uh, ability one. We can't actually use that name. Um, AB one key, maybe. AB1 key. Okay, so that's basically it. And so the ability one key 
is going to be our queue pretty much right so we want to enter so we want to get the input from the keyboard so we go input dot get key down right and then we go in brackets we'll go the key is uh, key code dot q key code dot q um, and so basically once we've done that we go oh that's fine so if the first thing we want to check we can only activate our ability if our timer is less than zero okay so or, or, or equal to zero right so if timer ability one timer is less than or equal to zero right we want to then but we'll, we'll progress right if not then we'll also progress into something else right but for the first one we want to progress into this we want to create a gui dot label to say that this ability is available completely available for you so gui dot label and then we'll go ahead and we'll just chuck it at 10 10 because that's the place where everyone um, not every game has that at 10 10 though for some reason so we'll just go position 10 pixels across and 10 pixels down and we'll make the width 50 uh, by uh, another 50 and then we'll go ahead and this is actually what we want to call AB1 this is our texture for ability for ability 1 right and we want to close that off and once we have that we're like okay so we have this icon now available but we need to know if we can we can activate the icon when the um, label we can activate sorry the ability when this label is visible so in the same section we want to go if we get this key right which is a b1 key if a b1 key is activated then we want to call the function ability one down here down at the bottom ability one no one there all right we just want to call that function up so that's pretty simple i mean it's all that is really required um so another thing that we need to do though is also set our gui label down here right because we want this one to be ability one cooldown right so that basically when it's not available when our ability is nowhere near available then it's going to show the black and white version of it right um, and so basically that's kind of the structure that we get from here. And if I'm talking too fast, because I always think I'm talking too fast, and I'm, oh, I'm, so, I'm so angry at myself. Um, that's basically it actually. But on GUI, we can actually add another thing, which is time, uh, ability one time at minus equals time dot delta time. Time dot delta time. And pretty much when we chuck that in, it's going to say that this timer, right, which is currently set to zero, is going to go down every second, right? So it's going to go down by one every single second. And what we want to do is kind of say, okay, so it will go down every second. And then when the ability is called, the timer will be set to the cooldown time, which will probably be like, oh, we'll just chuck it at 10 seconds. So just, just go ahead and save that script and I'll show you what I mean, right? So basically in our GUI manager, since we've already added the script, um, we've got our ability one here. So we've got quite a few things. We've got a cube, and right, I've already created a cube, and all this cube has on it is a kill self script, which kills itself in three seconds. You don't need that, okay? Because your abilities are probably going to be awesome. I'm just trying to teach you some of the basic um, stuff here. So what I've done is downloaded this package here, and it's a very cool package. I think it's free, to be perfectly honest. I'm not too sure. Um, but um, what we can do is just drag our ability icon on here our colored version and then they have an inactive version which is black and white basically if you do your own little icon just go into photoshop grayscale it done um so we can go there and we'll check that in ability one cooldown and now we want ability one cooldown time and let's just say it disappears after three seconds the cube so we'll make it five maybe we'll make a five second cooldown right and so basically that's it if we want to go ahead and save the scene and make sure that our cube is yep all good all go all is good all is wonderful and good and we just hit play and look that icon comes up and now i press q and the thing spawns and what hmm what huh. let me try that again so the cube spawns for three seconds but the icon comes back beforehand why? 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 Kill self. Time is and it's equal to three. Float timer. Update minus equals time dot delta time. Ability one timer minus equals time dot delta time. Countdown time equals event timer equals ability one. Cooldown time. Ah, okay. You know what I'll do? I'll check this in update because I know that update actually 
has uh, the correct correct time placement thing. So we'll check that in there. And if this doesn't work, then I'm actually confused because I you know, don't don't really see how it's not working. Um, um, okay, so that's kind of wrong. We want as long as our ability becomes available <coughs> after the cube has disappeared. Yeah, there we go. It's update and yeah, yeah, but you know what? That is perfect. I love it. Okay, so basically that's it, guys. When I spam Q, this thing comes on, turns all grey, and then our ability is available again, and we'll spam it straight away and the stuff like that. So basically all you need to do to create a set of four abilities, which is most common, and maybe a passive and stuff like that, it's pretty much use this system, right? Which is basically this GUI.label system. And we use it for everything. We use it for numbers. We use it for all this type of stuff, right? And what you can do to add a bit of complexity to it is actually put the, well, not complexity, I'd say, just put the number on top of it. So every time it's on um, this cooldown thing, just make the um, timer appear in the very center so that people can actually read how long it's going to take until their thing comes back. And the thing is, is that the reason I don't do that <laughs> is right now is because I, I was thinking it's like whilst I'm talking I'm thinking oh okay how how can we do this actually we can show these people how to do it and I don't, I'm not actually too sure how to change uh, it, it's an embarrassing thing not to be able to change a float into an int because you can't actually put um, a shit ton of decimal numbers on there because it's going to go like okay we've got 3.174415 you know pi of a number and then you know it'll extend all the way to infinity <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll leave it at that. So anyway, thank you very much, guys, for watching. And sorry about the sh shitty talking and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah. So it's like you know, it's pretty easy to do this type of stuff. So um, if you if you guys are still keen on learning, just um, leave a subs, leave a comment, leave a like. Um, thank you very much for watching, as per usual. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry that my uploads aren't that frequent for those of you who already watch quite a few of my videos. And I'm sorry if it's kind of dragging you away from wanting to make your MOBA and stuff like that but I'm glad I'm getting a lot of comments and thank you guys very much oh the forum that's right so I was making a forum where people can leave questions and the the rest of this community um, that I'm hoping to build um, can actually answer it alongside with me because I'm going to be answering as much as I can through it um, but I know a lot of you guys actually know how to do some of this stuff and it's very it's very cool um, that you guys are even bothering to watch this at all um, so yeah I kind of want to make a forum that um, everybody can chat to each other so it probably will be available soon I won't say now but I'll say soon you know um, at, a, at a point <laughs> <laughs> at a point oh man I must look retarded to the people across the yeah, never mind um, yeah so thanks for watching I'll actually leave it there because this is getting 13 minutes oh too long alright see you guys have a good day